Welcome to this new video about Krita in digital painting and thanks a lot for all the feedback received in the last video. We are growing as a community and that rocks. Would you like to see 10 tricks to paint faster and better? Because I'm not talking only about lagging brush strokes. Let's go! <laughs> We are going to cover here simple things related with the know-how and experience. I would say this could be useful not only for beginners, but more advanced users. So take a look and let me know what do you think in the comments below. We go directly to the trick number one, very easy and used since the early years in digital painting. Yes, I mean these days without pinch and zoom while painting. Trick number one, don't use overview, instead use a new view. As you start to paint more complex stuff, you realize that you need detail in your artwork. Krita has the overview docker, and it is a good feature because we can move the artwork, zoom the artwork, even rotate the artwork and mirror the view. To make it visible, go to menu settings, dockers, overview. But what happens when we paint and want to see the effect of the last brush stroke in real time? Well, for some reason, Krita needs a bit of time to calculate that both in Linux and Windows. Krita knows some areas need to be improved. If you are interested to help support Krita with donations, here is the link. But hey, we have a workaround, we can use a perfect real time setup. To use it, we need to work with sub windows instead of tabs, but this allows you to use the new view feature. Let's do it. Go to Settings, Configure Krita, General section, Windows. And as you can see, in the drop down menu, we can select sub windows. Click OK, and that's it. Then we can see the buttons for Minimize, Restore and Quit Image in the top right part of the interface. Ok, we want a new view, we can adjust it to our taste. Go to Window, New View and then select the image. Now it's very simple, we adjust the new view and we are done. If you paint, you can see the brush strokes in real time. Good. And you can mirror, zoom in, and whatever you want to do with this image. Bye bye, continue zoom in and zoom out. But wait, there is even more. You can change your values using the load management docker. Go to Windows, Docker, Load Management, and then activate the Open Color IO feature and select Luminance. Select the original image, and if it turns into grayscale, just deactivate the Osho feature. And boom! You can work now in color and black and white in real time. Enjoy it! Wolthera, a Krita developer, was the woman behind this, so give her feedback in her blog if you like it. The link is in the description below. Use color in canvas. You save time selecting color. This little movement is time wasted in terms of productivity. Imagine you spend a lot of time painting. You probably do this movement a lot. The in canvas color picker using control click is good and also the right click to see the pop-up palette with the color wheel feature. But we have another way to see color in canvas less disturbing and also fast. Go to settings, configure Krita, color selection settings, state selector. Make sure you have active the minimal option in type. And that's it. Now we need to know about the circuit. Go to Settings, Configure Krita, Keyboard Shortcuts and look for Minimal. You can see the default is Shift N, but we can change to wherever we want. If we select a key that is used, Krita give a warning and then you decide what you prefer. Activate the Update Save Selector when left click. With the latest adjustment, we have a static color changer, very controllable for little adjustments, but we have a restricted range of hue. The sliders don't change between this range, 
sound in the hue slider. We need to change the hue in color wheel to get a new range here. When we want to have a faster way to change the color temperature, we use this hue slider. This way we can create more variety in our shading really fast. Let's see how to do it. Go to Advanced Color Selector Docker this time, because it's faster, and we select the Shade Selector and activate the left clicking on Shade Selector. Click OK and we are done. Now we use our custom shortcut or Shift N and just slide the hue to change a bit to a warmer color or cooler color. Basically, what this does is rotating the color wheel clockwise or counterclockwise. <laughs> Easy. Use filtering while painting. After some paintings, we can gather brushes from different users and then you can get lost. If the brass bundle is well designed, probably use prefix and keywords in the name of brushes. We can use tags as we saw in the latest video. As you can see, I have a lot of brushes here. So how can I get the brush I want? We can start to look for it with the scroll bars, but sometimes we have another choice. Let me show it to you. When we give a name to our brushes, we usually use words like pencil, draw, flat, dry, wet, and more to include in our brushes. If you want to filter, for example, only pencil brushes, you type pencil in the search field and magically Krita filters the results. Well, not magically, but some kind. If you press the X button, we recover all the brushes. The system combined with tags can help us a lot. Instant view and custom threshold. If we make big, big brush strokes, we notice lag. For example, big sizes with blending brushes. But these kind of brush strokes are limited in time because we need detail to define the painting, so we return to more usual sizes. To activate this feature, go to View instant preview mode or press shift l now all the brushes with the feature instant view active can use this feature we can set what is the minimum brush size to compute with instant view for that purpose Krita can set a threshold to activate the instant preview in our brushes just go to the brush editor and press right click here now Krita is faster. If you are not worried about the pattern location and you just want texture over your image, then it's perfect. For more detailed brush stroke, just deactivate the instant view with Shift L. Brush spacing and quality. We all love fast brushes, but what about the quality of the brush stroke? Quality brushes are important but sometimes our devices can handle big resolutions or complex effects. One way to solve this is to increase the spacing of the brush. Sometimes fine tuning can make the difference in performance. Go to F5 or brush editor window. We see some parameters here that affect the performance. The pattern, mask brush, size and spacing. Also we have and not so known feature in the brush editor. You can decrease this from five to one and get better performance if you need it. We use the flat brush. As you can see, the quality of the brush stroke has decreased a bit, but we have gained speed. Selections with lasso tool. Filling an area with color is faster than painting. Using selection, it's a very common practice in concept art and speed paintings. Okay, the first thing, the shortcut. We need to look for outline selection and change the shortcut to your like. I use L key because I'm very used to that shortcut. Recently Krita has added the move selection feature and transform selection feature and also undo. Scott Petrovic made a video about this. Thanks a lot Scott for your hard work. 
You can think about this technique as a stencil. We make a selection, then we add or subtract areas to that selection and then we can paint keeping the edges given the feeling we have spent a lot of time creating details. And as we can move the selection, putting the cursor near the edge or the outline of the selection, it can be very good as a stencil. Create your own toolbar. Krita is very flexible to create custom interfaces. We can arrange dockers as we want, but also is very customizable in the toolbars, like for example, adding a third slider. Navigation, selection. This can be useful to not use the keyboard for all the circuits. Let's make an example. We're going to add a third slider to control the flow. First, you have to make sure you have the toolbars visible. Go to Settings, Toolbar Sound, and select both of them if they are not selected. Now, go to Settings, Configure Toolbars, and a window appears. Which is the toolbar we are going to use, in this case, brushes and stuff, and look for the word slider. Then we locate the brush option slider 3 and add it to the right side pressing the right arrow and now you can move up or down pressing the arrows to locate it where you prefer. This way we can add a lot of buttons, like this. If you are interested to have this bar in your Krita, let me know in the comments. Quick settings dogger use. When you paint and need to change between bracket values, for example in comic, Maybe you need to switch between two different sizes to keep consistency in the line work. Krita has added the Docker quick settings for this kind of stuff. It's useful when you want, for example, go from 5 pixel to 50 pixel and 5 pixel again. Exact values constantly. Go to Settings, Dockers, Quick Settings, Docker. You can see a wide range of values available and this can work also for opacity and flow. With the arrow keys in your keyboard, you can also decrease or increase the values. Nice if you want to work with precise values. Changing angle with preview. Last trick for now. Sometimes you need to fit your brush stroke in a specific angle. For example, if you paint roofs or architectural stuff with different sizes, just make right click to see the pop-up palette and press in the arrow to see the on canvas brush editor. We can adjust what parameters are visible here. It depends on brush engine we use, but angle is very common. As you can see, we can move the parameters up and down to fit better our needs. This way we adjust angle very fast and accurately. Of course, we could make new brushes for the most used angles. Okay, that's the end for the video. Hope you like it and if you have learned something, please give us a like, subscribe and press the notification bell to stay tuned about the new videos. We can learn a lot together and I will try to read all the comments. So please comment below and share with other Krita users your favorite tricks to paint faster and better. And as in the previous video, you can see some beautiful works from the Krita community. Have a nice and creative day or night. Bye!